Hey girl, hey, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Welcome to my channel, y'all. So for today's mukbang, we're gonna have some lobster tails and also some shrimp. And I have like two pieces of corn and I also have my lemon back here. Um, here's my sauce right here. I made this sauce. Um, my sauce is usually red, but I didn't have any paprika to put in it, so that usually makes the sauce red. So what I added in here, um, is on my vlog channel if you're not following me on my vlog channel go ahead and do that girl um my vlog channel is called the real queen so go ahead over there and follow that follow that channel i will have the link in the description box to my vlog channel we are drinking wine today y'all and this is duplin sweet carolina wine uh, this was my first time trying this if you like sweet wine it is a good sweet wine I like sweet wine sometimes. Sometimes I like uh, bitter wine too. You know, bitter wine gets you more buzz. Sweet wine really doesn't have a lot of alcohol in it, so. And I like to put my wine in the freezer because I like mine's cold. I know if you're a real, real wine drinker, you don't put your uh, you don't put your wine in the freezer. But I put mine in the freezer. Okay, so shall. So we do have a story time today, y'all. It's going to be a story from For My Man. If you haven't seen that show, I usually watch it on uh, uh, YouTube. And um, it usually come on TV1, but um, I usually just watch the episodes on YouTube. And um, I'll leave the, um, in the description box, I'll leave the episode to the one that I'm telling today. I'll leave it in the description box. So I'm going to say my grace, y'all, and we're going to get started, okay? Amen. So these lobster tails, y'all, I just cut them in half. I have about three here, so that's why I look like a lot. I just cut them in half, and this is how they look, cut in half. This is going to be my first time eating today, and it is what? It's 2.01, and it's my first time eating today, y'all. So let me eat a little bit first, and then we're going to start telling the story. So let me know how y'all doing down in the comments. I'm clumsy, y'all. Clumsy. And I think I'm getting a little cub because my voice is kind of hoarse right now. Oh, I didn't even bring my bows, my scraps. I mean, I don't feel like getting back up, so I'm going to put them on a paper towel right here. So, how y'all doing today? I'm doing well. It is Tuesday. Mm. I hope I didn't overcook these lobster tails because it's so I am hungry. This sauce is hot. Let me get me a couple bites in y'all and then we're gonna start telling the story. I should have put lemon juice in my uh in my sauce too. Ooh. Ooh. It's perfect. They're perfect, y'all. I only cooked them for about, what, six minutes? And they're perfect. The corn got kind of cold. Can y'all see my sauce? I'm going to put it right here. This sauce is good. I kind of made it different this time. This corn is so sweet. I'm trying not to eat none of my shirt. Are y'all ready for Christmas? Christmas is about, I think about 18 days away. Hmm. I'm ready for it to come and go. Y'all see my little Christmas tree back here? It's so cute. I had to literally remove the Christmas tree by myself just to put it in the back of my video. Mmm. Mmm. This box is hella good. I gotta get me a little onion. Y'all see the little onion right there? Ooh. It's hot. Ooh. 
I forgot it was still high, but I've been took it off the stove, so. Mm. Mm -hmm. So good. And the lemon, just set it on. Mm. It's been six minutes already. Okay. So, like I said, the story that I'm going to be telling is going to be for, for my man. And I watched it on YouTube. I had the link down below. I didn't even take shells off these, uh, these shrimp. Mm. How many of y'all use a lot of paper towels when you, uh, when you eat seafood? Seafood is so messy and I can't stand to have my hands just feeling wet all the time. So I use a lot of uh, <laughs> paper towels. I know I didn't use about five already and I ain't even been recording for seven minutes. Okay. So this episode was about this girl named Tiffany, y'all. She um I think she was about 22, 21, and she just up and moved to uh Atlanta because she wanted to she said she wanted a fresh start. Oh, I dropped something. She said she wanted a fresh start, so she up and moved to Atlanta. Her and her sister, she uh brought her sister along with her. I think her sister was was younger than her, I don't remember, but her sister's name was Crystal. good anyway so she up and moved to Atlanta she didn't know nobody she just wanted a better life um, and she knew Atlanta was um, you know a place where a lot of people claim they make it in Atlanta or you know close to a lot of celebrities or whatever so she took her sister with her hmm. so when she first got there she was at the bus station, the train station, waiting for the train. So, um, as she's sitting there, this guy approached her. The guy is, um, 18 year old Jerome. I forgot his last name. They were saying his last name. He was 18 years old and she was 22. So he stopped her while she was at the bus station. He was telling her, I guess he was telling her how cute she was or whatever, so he kind of swept her off her feet because like I said, she didn't know nobody there, so she was kind of lonely, just her and her sister. Mm. Yeah, he good. So, he was like, what, what's a pretty girl um, like you doing around the train? Y'all know the little pickup line today, today, so. But, so she fell for it. She got in the car with him, didn't even know who he was. And he was younger than her, he was 18. So I guess he took her home um, from the from the train station. And um, they started dating. They started uh, texting each other every day. And then their relationship became sexual. So they had a good relationship. He used to cook for her. You know, typical when you first start dating. He used to cook for her, show her so much attention. So he kind of swept her off her feet. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. So, like I said, their relationship came sexual. They started spending more time together, and then there's not a drama started happening. She didn't even know him long when she did this, so she didn't even know him long. And she was also talking on the show too, so she's telling the story. So he come to her. Hmm. Let me do a thumbnail. Anyway, so he come to her and um, tell her that he wanted to make some money. I guess he wanted to rob somebody. 
and I guess he told her that he wanted um her to uh, lure the guys in. So um, they go on this date inside. He show her how to get a victim. They go on this date inside, and um, she meets this guy named Mo. So she uh link up with Mo. Um, he dropped her off. Him and his friend dropped her off. Jerome and his friend dropped her and her sister off. Cause her sister wasn't even in it. She just went along with it because Mo said he had a friend. So she gets to the house. She gets to the apartment which Jerome dropped her off. So Mo opened the door and as she walk in, she sees that there's a bunch of more people there, which it wasn't supposed to be a lot of more people there, but there's a bunch of people there. And her sister Crystal, she started talking to Mo's friend. His name was um what was his name? I think his name was Reese or something. <clears throat> so she kicked it with her friend. So Tiffany, she's getting kind of nervous because she's like so many people here. There wasn't supposed to be that many people here. So she tells Jerome to hold off. But Jerome, he ain't having it. He like, just go ahead and do it. Just try to get them by herself. You know what I'm saying? So they can come up. So the plan was for him to rob them. So it's about 12, 1 o'clock. Tiffany, um, she tell Mo that they're ready to go. So she want them, um, him and Reese to walk her to the bus station. So it's four of them, him, Reese, Mo, Tiffany, her sister. So they walk into the bus station. So they see this car pull up beside them. It's like a SUV, a Ford Expedition or something like that. So the guys are kind of confused. They're like, they see somebody jump out the car. And they point guns at them. So Tiffany and her sister, they playing it off like they they getting robbed too. They put their hands up and everything. So he got the gun in their face, like you know, give me your money, give me this. So Mo, he he hurry up and took off. Mo is the guy that Tiffany was um Tiffany was with. So he hurry up and took off. He ran. So Malcolm, that, that's Jerome's friend, Tiffany's boyfriend friend that the sister was with, he fired a shot at Mo as he was running off, but he didn't hit them. So Mo ran behind a bush, um, which was, wasn't was far from where they were. So they forgot about him when he ran. He um, he just stopped and he looked at what they were doing, which they couldn't see him because he was behind a bush. So um, so they knocked the friend down, which is Mo's friend, Reese. Mm. They knocked him down. So as Mo looking back, cause you know he's still behind the tree, he's looking back. So he see the girls get in the truck too. So he thinking like, okay, this was a setup. So he knows a setup because he see them get in the car. Mm. So Mo's friend, he's still on the ground. So he's trying to get up as the boy's going in his pocket and stuff. And the guy walked away, Jerome walked away. So he's trying to go in his pocket because he's trying to get up. So as he's as he trying to get up, Jerome go back and beat him like till he's unconscious. Like he didn't shoot him, but he beat him till he was unconscious. The guy said he um, he only saw black. After a couple punches, he only saw darkness. So he was unconscious. He beat him till he was unconscious. So. They get in the car and they pull off. So um, after they pull off, Mo he he runs back to his friend and see his friend. He he's been beaten bad. He's bleeding and everything. So um, he calls nine one one. Your horn is good. I should cook more than two. Mm. So the police get there, questioning them, like what's going on. So Mo tell them, you know, he think the girl set him up and he met them on his side. You know, he think the girl set him up because he saw them get in the car with him. Tell him what kind of vehicle it is and, and everything. So the police are already on them because they see them driving kind of crazy. 
you see them driving kind of crazy um which jerome is driving tiffany her sister crystal and the other guy malcolm which is uh jerome's friend so all them in the car so the police um run in on them and they're going like 125 miles per hour on a high speed chase so the car finally wrecked all of them get out and jump out So Tiffany, her sister, and the friend, Jerome's friend, they go the same way. Jerome, he go a different way from them, opposite way from them. So he knew what he was doing. So the police caught up with them because the friend, Jerome's friend, he bumped into Tiffany, her sister, and um, all them just hit each other. And the gun, which the friend had the gun, so as he was running and hitting them. The gun fell up under Tiffany's, uh, fell up under Tiffany. She didn't even know it was under there. So when the police got her up, they saw the gun. The gun was under her. So they thinking she had the gun. So she's fussing saying she didn't have the gun. She don't know where the gun came from. Her handprints are not on it. So they take him into custody. Malcolm, Tiffany, and her sister Crystal. Nobody's talking. Nobody's saying nothing. Everybody's saying they don't know what's going on. They don't know who the driver is. So they didn't catch Jerome. Because like I said, he went the opposite way. So Tiffany, she just ran for her man, y'all. She saying she don't know who did it. She don't know who was driving. What? So they found uh, the guy that they was beating Mo's friend. They found his phone on him and six dollars. So that's all they got was six dollars and a phone. That's all they got. So Tiffany is still uh, not budging. They tell her um, she's gonna go to jail. She don't say who it is. She's still not budging. So the whole time they, um, the whole time she's in jail. They're listening to her calls. She's calling Jerome, which they don't say nothing on the phone about the robbery or anything like that. He's just telling her that he's going to hold her down. Uh, you know, he got money on the books and all that. All that. So, a couple of months. A couple of months went past. He stopped putting money on the books. He stopped calling Tiffany. So, the police think, okay, it's a good time for them to see if she want to talk. And then they came and said that he had a new girlfriend. I guess they saw it like on Facebook or something. He had a new girlfriend. So Tiffany was furious then. So she was ready to talk. <clears throat> so they talked to Tiffany again. They tell her that Jerome got a new boyfriend. A new girl. Mm, boyfriend. A new girlfriend. He out here living his best life. He ain't worried about going to jail. He ain't worried about none of that. So that's when Tiffany started talking. She told the whole story about. Who planned it was, you know, um, how it came about, how she found him on their dating site and all that. Mm. So, they finally caught up with Jermaine, I mean, Jerome. <laughs> Tiffany ended up getting, um, Tiffany, Tiffany, other, the other guy, her sister Crystal, they ended up getting, um, taking a plea deal. And they got 10 years in um, prison. But Tiffany only, only ended up doing it. I think she said she only did five years because um because of good behavior. And my sister, she she got ten years too, but she only ended up doing doing four years. She got out early. But they didn't say anything about the friend. So Jerome, which they didn't have any evidence on Jerome anyway. They only had what she said, word of mouth. They, they didn't have any physical evidence. So um, so they didn't have any evidence against him. It just was he said she said. So Jerome, he didn't take a plea deal. He just, um, he wanted to go to trial. So he went to trial, y'all. He didn't get net. The only thing he got was probation. That's the only thing Jerome got was probation. He went on about his life. <laughs> he went on about his life. He said, Tiffany who? He don't know no Tiffany. <laughs> So, um, so Tiffany, her sister, get out of jail. They try to, um, you know, rebuild their relationship. Because, you know, Tiffany, she was to blame. She put her sister in that situation and she felt bad. So, they became real close. And Jerome, she said Jerome did reach out to her um, when she got out of jail. You know, telling her, her to be safe and all that. She was like, I can't believe he reached out to me. <laughs> but him and her don't have a relationship now. Mm. 
It's calling good. Y'all, yep. So she did that time for him, and he like he didn't even know who she was. He didn't went out and got him a new girlfriend. He ain't stunned tipping no away. Mm. Y'all gotta put onions in y'all sauce. Mm. That's a shell off the shrimp. I want me some more corn. It's going good. Mm. What's the time? 22 minutes. So I ain't gonna keep y'all long. Like I said, if you do want to watch the show, mm, I'm gonna have the link to that. Um, to that particular story in the description box. So thank y'all for watching. Like I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with anyone and everyone. And I'll see y'all on my next video. Bye y'all.